Okay, so we're here in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, we're within the caldera boundaries and Yellowstone National Park has been formed by three uh, different explosive volcanic events during the last two, min two million years. Each one of those volcanic eruptions has produced a caldera or depression uh, due to the size of the eruption ejecting so much volcanic material. Uh, the most recent eruption was 640,000 years ago and it created the present uh, Yellowstone caldera which I'm standing within and it's uh, because of that subsurface magma chamber beneath Yellowstone that we have a lot of these hydrothermal features in Yellowstone like this hot spring here you can see some of the steam rising in the background uh, along the river all of these features are here because of the heat in the magma chamber heating up groundwater the groundwater then rising towards the surface and then manifesting itself either as uh, hot pools of water uh, plumes of steam which are called fumaroles or in some cases where there's constrictions in the plumbing system you can actually get the water heated up to the point where it boils flashes to steam and then triggers a, a geyser eruption where the water actually shoots it out of the ground so uh, Yellowstone is known as a super volcano it's a very large magmatic system with the caldera about 40 to 50 miles in diameter um, but Volcanic systems of this size typically don't erupt that frequently, so the chances of a Yellowstone eruption coinciding with, with your lifetime on, the, on this planet are very, very small. Um, instead, what we'd be more likely to see here are maybe small uh, steam-driven eruptions, uh, maybe a small lava flow, uh, but of course, uh, a lot of people get excited about Yellowstone because it does have the potential for producing large, um, uh, ash plumes and very explosive catastrophic eruptions uh, but it would take some considerable amount of time a lot of precursors like earthquakes and such would need to precede that large volcanic event so at any rate it's here for us to enjoy um, and it's a, a really neat spectacle one of a kind